guys. Today we'll be going over the desktop NFC reader writer. This allows your desktop computer or laptop to read and write NFC cards. Um, I have a couple cards from TapTag. This is their bamboo card. It's an NFC business card. This is their custom plastic card. And then I have a custom engraved metal card as well that I really like. And then also just your typical NFC tag, also from TapTag. But we'll be programming all of these today with a desktop NFC reader. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Quick back history. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I bought this thing thinking it would be very self-explanatory when it came in the mail from Amazon. However, it came with a little GameCube little PC disc from 1990. I have all Macs. Um, they don't have it. They haven't had a CD slot in 10 years. I was trying to figure out how to use this thing. I scoured the internet, there's no videos, there's no info, there's nothing that exists that tells us how to use this. So I figured it out and I'm making a video to help you guys to do the same thing because it was a nightmare of an experience overall. Like I said, this is about 50 bucks or so on Amazon. It has a typical USB cord, the old school style. So if you have a MacBook Pro, from the last like two or three years that probably has a USB-C connector. So you're gonna need an adapter of some sort like this one here. This is also very cheap on Amazon, like 15 bucks. You just plug it into your USB-C and it converts it into USB. That's if you have a laptop. I still have a Mac that still has two of the old school USB connectors. So I am good to go. Um, so we'll get started here. You just plug it back right back into your computer. You can just throw that disc out. If you've got the one that comes with the little software disc, that, that software is garbage for one and two, you know, who has a CD? ROM insert anymore. The first thing you want to do is you're going to go to um, just whatever Internet Explorer you choose to use here. And here we go. And you're going to go to a site called WACDEV. I'll put the link in my description here and it's just a NFC tools app. And I made another video before about how to program these cards using your smartphone that by downloading an app because your phone has a native NFC reader and writer in it that could program cards if you want to. However, your computer does not. So your computer needs the extra tool to be plugged into it. Um, so this is the same as the app I recommend in the, the iPhone app store and the Android app store. So you just go to this website and whatever computer you have, whether Windows, Intel, whatever it may be, you, you choose what type of computer you have and you just download the file. And it's just like any other program when it comes to this, you're just going to have to open it up. It's going to have like a little download software screen. You just click through it, hit continue a bunch of times and eventually you'll see it's downloading into your computer. And then I have a Mac. Personally, I've never used the Windows version, but I can't imagine it's much different than the version we're going to go over today, which is for Mac. So I did for Intel Mac because my Mac is before the M1 Apple chip came out. And if you do have the M1 Apple chip, which is, in, uh, I think, 2021 or later, uh, then, you, then you're going to do this one. But either way, you can just do trial and error. Whatever works, you can just download them both. Who cares? It'll, one of them will work. So once that is downloaded, we'll exit out of this. You're going to have this NFC tools desktop icon at the bottom here, or it might be in your applications as well. You're going to want to click this and it's going to open up this very simple dialog screen, super easy. So from there, you take one of your NFC cards and if you place it over the reader, it's going to beep at you and it's going to tell you everything about that tag. A bunch of mumbo jumbo, but you could see that this has a record on it, which means it's programmed with a website. This is programmed with the tap tag website. So if we were to do it again, um, this car is programmed with nothing. It's not password protected. It gives us basic info. This is essentially a useless screen. You don't really need this for anything. It's more of just for a learning cause right now. If you want to see a couple other things, we want to see the memory on it. We, we tap the card again. It's going to tell us a lot more stuff. This is going to be anything that's programmed onto it, um, maybe from the factory, maybe from the software. It could be, could be anything. But at this point, this is the card that was blank, and there's essentially nothing nothing on it. Once we write something to it, you'll see that some things will appear here. So if you want to write this NFC tag, and I have a very specific video about how to program different things like a contact card or your link tree or anything onto the onto these cards using your phone, but we're going to kind of do the same exact thing here on the computer using this bad boy here. If you want to write your tag, you're going to go to the write option here. You'll see that this is blank, and this pissed me off originally because I was like, I thought you had to program it and then you hit right and then you tap the card because that's what the phone is like when you're doing it on your phone. You, you do everything first and then the last step is to hit right and then you tap the chip and it programs. So to do an NFC business card, what you're gonna wanna do is hit add a record. 
you're going to see a ton of options here and a lot of these are very enticing. However, if you're planning to use this for business card purposes, only really one option will work here and we're at the mercy of smartphones for this and let me explain a little bit further. Smartphones only accept a website link via NFC natively. So no app required, no nothing required. All you do is you take a smartphone and you're going to tap it to the chip and it'll, it'll just work right out of the box without having to do anything really at all. The reason why is because it only accepts a website link. So if you're looking at this and you're like, wow, it would be really nice to use, you know, the contact option on this great app. You could program the card with contact info, with raw contact info. However, it's not going to work with a smartphone. You'll get a successful program. And then when you go to tap it, it just won't do anything because your phone doesn't know how to convert raw contact data into something that makes sense on your phone. Um, same thing with a bunch of these other ones. Some of them work on Android, some of them work on Apple, but pretty much the only one that works on both of them is the custom URL slash URI option. This is just a basic website browser link that we all would share with a friend or whatever it may be. So in this case, we're going to do custom URL URI. This brings up a tiny little dialogue here, and in this case, we're going to do my link tree. So let me just copy my link from my other screen here. And this is my link tree. So we're telling it what to program onto the card. We're going to hit OK. And now you can see this pops up right here. Another important thing before we go forward is, although you can program multiple things onto an NFC card, like I said before, smartphones not only accept a website link, but they only accept one single website link. So if you think you're going to go on here and program your Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever it may be, all together, the card will likely accept it and program onto the card and you'll be able to read it using an app or software, but your phone won't do it natively. And to give you an extreme example, imagine you program 15 different websites onto your card and you go to tap it, you don't want your phone blowing up with like 15 notifications. Think about how your phone would, would turn that data into something that makes sense. It doesn't make sense. So it only takes in one single website link. So it's important that we just do one. The cool thing is with this is a site like Linktree, I'll bring my other screen over here, it consolidates infinite information under your one profile link. So if you want to have your website, your YouTube, your Instagram, Facebook, it's all consolidated under your one profile link. So if you want to bypass this problem and have multiple things on your NFC business card, you could do it by using a free site like Linktree. There's beacons, there's contact in bio, there's bio.fm, there's a ton of them. I'll put those in, in the bio as well. And this is a way to get the full use out of your card. So right now we're going to program this link tree. So this card has nothing programmed on it whatsoever. So we're going to attach it right here. You'll see that this right becomes available. So if I remove it, it goes blank. If I add it to the card, it says right. So now all you do is hit right. And you're going to get a successful, the card is now written. So if you now take this card and tap it to your phone, you'll see that notification appear that says open link tree in Safari. You open it up and it goes right to my, my digital business card essentially with all my information. So we're going to do something else this time. We're going to do a contact card because a lot of people have questions with how do I put my contact card on the thing? I want it to look like a business card. I don't want this link tree crap. I want somebody to save my contact and phone to their phone. No worries at all. I have another video about how to make a link like this. It's a free site called vcard.link. I'll put that video in the bio as well, but that's a couple minute video and I'm not going to spend time going over that now. Essentially, it's a free website and you can convert your contact details into a link. So what we're going to do here is exit out of that, that record that we were programmed. So now it's blank again. There's nothing here. The card is still programmed, but on the software, it doesn't have any information. So we're going to do add a record again and then custom URL it's asking us what we want to add. And we're going to add this contact card link. Like I said, we made this in another video and we're going to hit okay. So now we're going to program this, uh, this sticky tap tag with that. So right now it goes to the tap tag website. Let's just, or no, sorry. It goes to my Instagram right now. So you tap it, oops, tap it. And it goes right to my Instagram. So we're going to change it to go to this contact card. So you put the, the tag on the, the platform here and you're going to hit right. So we're writing this into the tag it's successful. So now when I take this tag and I touch my phone to it, I get a notification that says open V card. And then when you tap it, it opens up my native V card info. And then I could just hit create new contact or add to contacts like we would if we were to say text it to each other or whatever it may be. And it's, it's going to be permanently this V card dot link site. So it's going to open up my contact card. 
So super easy to do. If you want to edit this link, we'll just go over some other little features here. If you wanted to edit this for any reason, um, you could just click this little pencil icon and just you know change it around and hit OK again. A note I want to add is, is if there's a space in here whatsoever, it will fail. Um, so sometimes if we're copy pasting from a browser, for example, um, there might be a little bit of a hidden space like right here, for example, like that, and we might not see it when we're pasting it, but it'll program you'll get a successful program message however your phone won't read it at all so if you're having a problem where you're able to program the card but your phone's just not picking it up just double check this that there's no space you know before or after the link that you may have accidentally um you know highlighted when you're copy pasting it originally to exit out of this link here you just hit the exit thing um, a couple other options too if you wanted to erase the tag so say i don't want anything on this tag at all, I could just erase it by, uh, oops, sorry, I have to put on the, the reader first, and then I just hit erase, and it's gonna erase the tag, and now when I go to touch it to my phone, nothing's going to happen at all, because there's essentially nothing on the tag. And if I wanted to write it again, say with my Instagram this time, um, I just hit add a record again, custom URL, and my Instagram web URL, so H it has to have the HTTPS too. This is another important tip, I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, you can't just manually type in www mywebsite.com. It has to be the official HTTPS semicolon slash slash www.mywebsite.com for this to work properly. So we're going to do my Instagram in this, put that on the thing, hit right, hit OK, and now it should, in theory, go to my Instagram account. Let's just open it to make sure, and there we go. There's my Instagram. That, that's really it. All these cards are exactly the same. Um, it's all the same technology. So if you wanted to write my Instagram onto the, the metal card, for example, we're just going to put that down and hit write again. And then now when we do the metal card, it goes to my Instagram. So super simple. You could reprogram these. Every time you program it, it's going to overwrite the previous data. So if I were to, let's just, for example, do my link tree again. If I wanted to do my link tree, I could just hit this, hit the edit button and just change this link out and paste my link tree. And then now, remember, we just did Instagram on this. And when we put this here, we could hit right again. And now what it's doing is it overwrote my Instagram with link tree. So every time you do repeat this process, it's going to overwrite. It doesn't add to it. It doesn't multiply it. It, it overwrites it. Um, so now when we scan the metal card, it's going to go to my link tree. There you go, instead of the contact card or instead of the Instagram. And that's really it. And if we wanted to find out some more information about the card, the NFC tag, we go back to the information tab. And if we put the metal card on it, it'll say at the bottom here that it's going to Linktree slash that drone guy tie because that's what we just programmed on it. And if we did the plastic card, put that over it on the information tab, it's also going to my Linktree. And then I think this one was my Instagram. Um, yes, yeah, so the, the, the plastic card. So this is a quick way to see the data on the card and maybe the factory info and where it's from. Um, you can see right now it says Instagram. If we wanted to erase it, we can go to other, erase, and now there's nothing on this tag whatsoever. Um, format is essentially the same exact thing as erase. Format is more of like a factory reset, so it's a little bit more intense, but it doesn't really do anything. This might be for if you're having problems with your chip. Um, it's going to reset it back to how it was when it was manufactured. When erase might just erase the record that was on it. Um, you can set a password on your NFC chips as well. I'm not going to go over that too much, but essentially you could type in a password. And what this does, it's maybe, so say this tag had a, a restaurant menu on it and it's on a, stuck to a table somewhere. Um, and you want your customers to tap the tag and go to your menu, for example, but it's in a public space unsupervised for a chunk of the day. You don't want some unruly teenagers programming something maybe undesirable on this when you say, hey, check out our menu and they tap it. And now it's going to something crazy. So password protecting it, you could just put a quick four digit pin on here. So you could just do like, you know, whatever, just any random number. You could even do a one digit pin, any, anything. Uh, I think it goes up to six digits. And you'll need to use this password. So you'll have to remove. So you set password, you put this on here, you set the password to say 555. And then to remove it, it's, it's unprogrammable at that point and then you'll have to put this on the reader and hit remove password type in your password and then now it's programmable again so you're removing the rights to program it essentially and that that's pretty much it you know this this is a great program it's super easy to use it's the same mostly on the phone like i said i'll post my other video in the bio here to go over how to do the same exact thing but with your smartphone so you don't have to waste money on this thing if you don't want to 
Um, but this is good when you're doing tags in bulk or if you're doing things on your computer screen where you could quickly copy paste from Safari or maybe your notepad or whatever, an email. Where if you're on your computer all day, I, that's why I have it because I get a lot of emails with, hey, program this for me, program that for me. And I just like to copy it right from my desktop and do it without having to airdrop it to my phone to use this. Um, I'm able to just bang through all of these like very quickly. It's 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 super streamlined and easy. Like I said, for 50 bucks, it's, it's meant for a certain type of person, but it's definitely worth it if you're programming and reading NFC cards in bulk. Uh, if you have any questions, please, please, please put it in the comments. Um, I, I love answering questions. I do it very quickly. Um, you can see from my other videos, all my questions are answered in like less than a day. Um, I'm very passionate about helping people out and helping them get by this. And the, the sole reason for this video is because I struggled to figure this out for a solid few hours because it comes with no directions when you buy this. It literally comes with this and a CD-ROM, and I don't even know how to use a CD-ROM. Um, my little brother, who's nine, doesn't even know what a CD-ROM is at this point. So it's, it's a phasing out technology. They need to come up with a new version, but this version, you know, it just works well. It's just right out of the box, it's just gonna work, and then you just download this software and you're, you're good to go. Thank you, subscribe if you wanna know more about NFC stuff. I'll put the link to TapTag as well in the bio so you could check out their products and get some things customized. Pretty cool stuff. And uh, we'll talk again. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later.